In our last session, we introduced bootstrap by using a motivating situation where the idealized assumptions of large sample was not met and there we constructed both the classical confidence interval as well as the bootstrap confidence interval and showed that variation or the bootstrap confidence interval was much more tighter. Now, as we have already said and this is just a recap of our last class that generally statistical methods are based on idealized assumptions, but there are situations when the idealized assumptions are not met. For example, the normality might not hold, for example, the amount of samples required is not there. So, in those cases classical statistics does not yield the desired results and that is where we have to take recourse of the resampling techniques. The most popular resampling technique is the bootstrap, but there is also another resampling technique called the jackknife. So, in this session we would start with the jackknife technique and we would see what exactly is a jackknife, how it is being performed or how do we apply the jackknife technique on a standard estimator and what happens when we apply the jackknife technique. So, what happens is the bias gets reduced, the variances gets reduced. So, the properties of the jackknife estimator. So, these are the things that we are going to cover in this session. So, we would start with the definition of jackknife. Suppose, we observe our sample x 1, x 2, x n from a distribution function f independently and identically distributed and f may or may not belong to a specified parametric family. So, we are not making any restriction on f. Now, assume that T n is an estimator of theta. For example, T n is T n of x 1, x 2, x n. Note the use of the subscript n. So, in the previous session we were using t instead of t n. So, here t n signifies that the estimator is based on n observations or n, n uh, samples x 1, x 2, x n. So, the bias of t n is b of t n e of t n that is the expected value of the estimator minus the original value of theta or minus the theta. So, e of t n minus theta. Now, let us define another x estimator t n minus 1 comma i which is the same statistic as t n computed from the data after leaving out the ith sample or the ith observation. So, that becomes t n minus 1 comma i and that is equal to. So, I can write it as t n minus 1 x 1 comma x 2 comma x i minus 1 comma x i plus 1 comma x n and then let us define t n hat is equal to 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n t n minus 1 comma i that is the statistic computed from the data after leaving out the first, then the second, then the third like this we leave out all the n observations. So, we get t n minus 1 comma 1, we get t n minus 1 comma 2, we get t n minus 1 comma 3, so on and so forth. And from there we can construct t n hat which is mean of all this t n minus 1 comma i. So, it is 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n t n minus 1 comma i. So, a jackknife estimator of the bias is then defined as b jack which is nothing but n minus 1 t n hat minus t n and a jackknife estimator of theta is t n minus b jack. So, what happens is an estimator of theta is so the it is the original estimator t n minus the bias obtained from the jackknife estimator of bias. 
So, T jack comes out to be T n minus B jack which comes out to be on simple algebra is n T n minus n minus 1 T n hat. Now, what is the justification of doing this? The justification of doing this is that it can be shown that the bias of jackknife estimator is of order n to the power minus 2 or of order 1 by n square. Now, what does that mean? So, in most cases, so for most of the estimators, the bias is of the form a by n plus b by n square plus order of 1 by n cube. So, that is the bias is in the form in the order of 1 by n. Now, the proof is not given here, but it can be shown that if we assume the bias of the estimator to of T n to be of the order 1 by n, then the bias of T jack is of order 1 by n square. The proof is not given in this, but the proof is given in the document accompanying this video. So, what does this signify? This signifies that the jackknife estimator produce a bias reduced estimator by renaming the first order term in bias T n. So, what does this signify? This signifies that the jackknife estimator produce a bias reduced estimator by removing the first order term in the bias of T n. Because if you see bias of T n is of the order 1 by n, whereas bias of T jack that is the jackknife estimator is of order 1 by n square. Now, we can use jackknife to construct variance estimators. Now, if we remember T jack or just as we have learnt T jack is T n minus B jack and then if we write it, it comes in the form of T n minus n minus 1 T n hat minus T n. So, let us define T n minus i tilde and that is n T n minus n minus 1 T n minus 1 comma i i equal to 1 to n. So, then we can assume that T n comma i tilde are all i i d's and variance of T n comma i is approximately equal to variance of root n T n. So, variance of root n T n may be estimated from the sample variance based on T n comma 1 up to T n comma n. So, an estimate of the variance of T n is the V jack which is the jackknife variance estimator and it comes out to be 1 by n minus 1 i runs from 1 to n T n comma i tilde minus 1 by n summation j runs from 1 to n T n comma j tilde square. So, that means that the mean that we are getting here and so on simplification it comes out to be n minus 1 by n summation i runs from 1 to n T n minus 1 comma i minus 1 by n i runs from 1 to n T n minus 1 comma j square. So, that means we can use the T jack individually and we can construct variance of jackknife estimator. So, let us see an example of the jackknife. Suppose x 1 comma dots up to x n. So, that means we have a ran fissilillo. Example of jackknife. Suppose x 1 dot dot x n follows i i d f and we are interested in the mean mu which is equal to expectation of x. So, mean is the parameter of our interest. So, here we know T n is nothing but the sample mean that is x n bar and that is nothing but 1 by n i runs from 1 to n x i bar. So, T n minus 1 comma i is x bar n minus 1 comma i that is n x bar n minus x i divided by n minus 1. So, it is simple. So, the, this is because x n bar is n summation x i is n x n bar minus the i th 1. So, x i divided by n minus 1. Now, then T n hat comes out to be 1 by n 
i runs from 1 to n t n minus 1 comma i and the jackknife estimator of mu comes out to be n t n minus n minus 1 t n hat. On simplification this comes out to be x n bar only. So, bias of jackknife is n minus 1 t n hat minus t n and this is 0. Also in this case t n i tilde is n t n minus n minus 1 t n minus 1 comma i and that comes out to be x i. Variance of x i is variance of root n x n bar. In this case it is exactly equal. So, the variance of jackknife comes out to be 1 by n into n minus 1s i equal to 1 to n x i minus x n bar square which is the same as the traditional bootstrap variance. So, let us take another example here x 1 to x n follows i i d f and we are interested in the parameter a population mean square. So, the parameter here is the population mean square that is E x square and suppose here. So, the estimator is T n is x n bar square. So, T n minus 1 comma i is x bar n minus 1 comma i square. So, T n hat here reduces to 1 by n i equal to 1 to n x bar n minus 1 comma i and B jack is n minus 1 T n hat minus T n. On computation this comes out to be summation i runs from 1 to n x n bar minus x i into 2 n minus 1 x n bar minus x i by n minus 1 into n. So, there is also an n. So, this is into n and on further simplification we can write that x n x bar n minus 1 i minus x bar n is nothing but x bar n minus x i by n minus 1. So, it can be shown that uh, x bar n minus 1 comma i minus x bar n is equal to x bar n minus x i divided by n minus 1 and x bar n minus 1 comma i plus x bar n this reduces to 1 by n into n minus 1 summation i runs from 1 to n x i minus x n bar whole square which is alpha 2 square by n. So, alpha k hat. So, if I define alpha k hat as the kth central sample moment then the t jack comes out to be x n bar square minus alpha 2 hat by n. So, if we compute the variance then that comes out to be a, a bit of a complicated form. So, the form is 4 x n bar square alpha 2 hat by n minus 4 x n bar alpha 3 hat by n into n minus 1 plus alpha 4 hat by n into n minus 1 square minus alpha 2 hat square by n square into n minus 1, where alpha k is the kth order central sample moment. In this session, we learnt about the jackknife technique. So, what does the jackknife technique do? For a given estimator the jackknife technique computes the same statistic by leaving out one observation and this it does for all observations and then it creates a or it, uh, it computes the jackknife bias. Subtracting the jack jackknife bias from the original estimator gives us the jackknife estimator. Now, what is the ad, uh, what is the reason for taking this? It can be shown that the bias of a jackknife estimator is of the order 1 by n square whereas, the bias of an ordinary estimator is generally of the order 1 by n. So, that means, the jackknife estimator reduces the bias in the reduces the bias as compared to the ordinary estimate. Also, we have done the jackknife estimator for the parameter uh, uh, the, for the parameter uh, population mean as well as for the po parameter population mean square. So, we have constructed the jackknife estimator for both. In the next video, we, we shall be talking about the bootstrapping.
and we would see how jackknife is a special case of bootstrapping and we would in general go into the principles of bootstrap in much more details.